Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome to episode 9 of Civilization 5 on Deity Difficulty. Things are not going too bad. We've actually got uh, Spain attacking China at the moment. Uh, really wish I knew exactly how many forces China had so we could try and do some damage to them. I'd like to get rid of this city completely. Um, I'd potentially like to take Shengu. It's not a terrible city. Um, I'd like to take over Shanghai. So there's a lot of stuff that I'd like to try and do down here in order to take out China, but I just don't know if it's going to be possible. Certainly not with the units that I have. Warsaw has grown. We definitely need to get some mines, I think, now on these hills as well. So we're going to be keeping our workers uh, quite busy. Let's go on to the next turn. I'm still going to try periodically uh, to see if we can get the Shoshone to attack China. If we can get both of them attacking China, that'll make things a lot easier for us. Even though we do have a few crossbowmen, it is going to be very difficult to take any of these cities because we've got hills, marshes and forests in the way. And we've now got steel. I did say that I would have liked to have been able to build a um, fort up here, but I think I'm actually going to uh, not waste the production. Uh, let's go ahead and get these um, swordsmen. We do need... well, we don't have enough iron at the moment. Uh, we can certainly go ahead and get ourselves another research agreement with Spain. Saludos. If they have the money, uh, which they do. Yep, so Spain is happy for that research agreement. Um, we get to choose our next tech. I guess we could go into... Well, we can't get observatories, so there's not a lot of point rushing towards astronomy. Uh, Sistine Chapel's already been built. Um, I guess we could go into... Well, we want to get metallurgy, don't we? So we definitely want to get physics. We can get trebuchets. So we want to go physics. And the reason I was thinking one of these is because we go into the Renaissance era, which gives us a free social policy, which might be worth it, actually, because we can unlock rationalism. So let's go banking into physics, and then from physics into gunpowder, and then we'll pick up printing press and metallurgy. That's the way we're going to sort of head and, and see what happens. Um... Vods has grown. You're probably working really crappy tiles now, though, because there isn't an awful lot left for you to work that is decent. Um, we could buy this fish tile. We probably should. One, two, three. We're a long way away from it. It does cost us a fair bit of money to do that, but it would be a good tile. I think it will be worth it, ultimately, to work that tile. So we'll have to produce another fishing boat uh, in Warsaw. So we'll get one queued up, we want another work boat. And then over in Lodz, we are going to want... We've already got the lighthouse queued up, so we are fine there. Okay, let us then... Is there anything else here that we need to deal with? I don't think so. Let's go on to the next turn. Pedro wants to go to war with China. I'm, again, I'm half tempted to say yes, but I've got two problems here. First of all, Pedro, you're that far away. You're probably not actually going to be able to do anything to us. Secondly, um, that would mean China would get the first volley at me on their turn, and I'd prefer that not to happen. We're also going to lose two of our cargo routes because they're currently trading with China or heading through Chinese territory. Don't get me wrong, I'd definitely like to take some stuff off China, but I don't want to lose half of my stuff in doing so. We're actually working towards a great engineer now, which might be useful. Let's go ahead and um, get another farm, then we'll go ahead and work on a mine here. You guys are just going to guard up, you guys are going to do the same. And this is the question, if I were to actually declare war now, how much damage could I do? I mean, I could certainly get a lot of units into position... We could move you forward. We could move you around here. We could move you around here. Actually leave you forward because you, you actually have healing. There, there is potentially a way of doing this. If we're careful about what we do. I think we probably do need some more units. But I'm going to give it consideration. Uh, at the same time I'm actually going to go and try once again. To get this guy to declare war on her. Okay. 
I find it very strange that he isn't willing to do it, especially considering that China has essentially forward settled them. I'm hoping that Spain is giving them a good kicking. What I might actually do, and this is going to be risky, especially as I don't have any... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't have any ar artillery equipment or anything like that. Now, you wouldn't actually be able to shoot over the forest, would you? That's the problem. So you can't hit them from there anyway. Um, so let's move you... Let's leave you there for a moment. Because you couldn't hit them either, I don't think. No, because, see, all this forest's in the way. Which is meaning it's going to be very, very difficult for us to attack. So I think what we're actually going to do is we will just... I'm going to stop sort of putting people back where they were, just moving people back up a little bit. Um, I, I'd love to attack, but I think at the moment it's it's quite risky. I could pull back and let them come to me, but they are still sort of friendly at the moment, so we'll hang on for a turn or two. We'll see what we can... Uh, see what we can manipulate in terms of diplomacy. Well, it looks like they've got an absolute crap ton of missionaries. Declaration of friendship with Babylon. I don't think I'm going to accept that. Um, we've got a declaration of friendship with... Babylon's relatively weak. We've got a declaration of friendship with Spain. Spain are also friended with Rome, and Rome don't like Babylon, so... Hmm. Yeah, they're at war with Rome... Oh, they're at war with China as well, are they? I'm still going to say no on that one. I think it's a little bit too risky. What I am considering doing is bringing my men back a bit from the front. Like, there we go. He's willing to do it. I'm actually going to say yes here. Um, let's get this started. We want to go to war with China anyway. And now that the Shoshone is willing to do it, and they're already at war with Babylon, and they're already at war with Spain, this seems like the ideal opportunity to do it. Now, we get the opportunity here to move away from their city, and I think we should. Um, we are going to have to move in, though, if we want to be able to do any damage to anything. China are in a really good spot because of all these damn annoying forests. Um, we can potentially... This is always quite risky because you never know what they've got close by. But we can move in with you. You can't attack it on this turn, unfortunately. Let's move you over here. You'll be able to attack this city. In fact, you can attack it on this turn. Because you are my old scout. So you didn't get the movement penalty of being in the marsh. You didn't do a lot of damage to it. But you did manage to hit it. Um... You can move forwards because you you are a medic. We can start to move around with this guy. Still very risky here. We do have more bowmen that we can bring to the front. So I think we will because we want to be able to protect against China attacking us. Uh, you are out of bombardment range of Shanghai so that is good. Krakow has grown. Yeah, that's fine. Just keep... Well, we've got uh, unemployed citizens, actually. Just go and work the Writer's Guild. Makes the most sense. It, it'll grow quite slowly, but that's fine. Hopefully, they don't have enough damage to be able to um, do an awful lot. Pedro has now declared war on China. Brilliant. So, China's basically um, getting everybody uh, to attack them right now. Now, the good thing we've actually got here is that this guy has Medic. So, this guy is going to be um, healing all of these guys up. No, 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 no. That's kind of the plan. Yet, Declaration of Friendship with the Shoshone. We'll definitely take that for now. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no hills around here. Which means we can't actually get any archers in to do any real damage against um, the cities. Which is problematic. We'll take another shot with you.
Now then, is there any way we can get other... P I guess we could try and sneak some people up and just give them too many targets to um, completely overwhelm them. That is definitely a possibility. Would be nice if we could get you over there, but you're just going to take too long because of that stupid marsh in the way. That's not a problem. You guys are mainly defensive there. You guys... Yeah, let's just get let's just get crossbowmen to sort of move up. You guys are going to fortify, and hopefully you'll just keep getting hit, and you'll be fine. Um, this missionary has got the wrong religion, but we can just go ahead and um, delete the unit. At least it's one less unit for China to throw at me, right? I mean, obviously it's not going to do any damage to me, but it's a pain in the ass it being there. So at least we've managed to stop that. So you're bombarding these guys. That's not too bad. You're attacking them, but they're fortified, so they should be okay. You're going to attack them. They're actually taking quite a kicking, which I don't really like. Maybe I'll pull back and attack one city at a time. Uh, yep, we'll keep that going. We'll keep the happiness up. We don't want to be taking any sort of um, penalty. Um, you don't need open borders from us to be able to attack... China, so just get on with it. Ah, we've lost fishing boats. Um, is that from a city-state? Yeah, that's a shame. Hopefully we can sink that. We do have a promotion, which is on you guys. We're actually going to go ahead and give you um, cover. And um, I think what we'll try and do is swap you out with somebody else. They can't attack on this turn because they're not the... Um, the guys. The guys with the thing. Now, you can't attack from there on this turn. So, what we're going to have to do is move both of you in. And just hoping that um, all of China's units are busy off attacking... Um, just hope that all of China's units are busy off attacking Spain or the Shoshone. So, the problem that I've got right now is even though there aren't really an awful lot of Chinese units around to defend, their cities are actually in quite good defensive positions. Now, you're still going for these guys, which I don't much like. Luckily, the, they didn't go for them. You can actually back up now. You'll be fine. I don't think there's any point attacking that city. We need to actually back up from there. Try and get people healed up. No, 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 hey. Research agreement with the Shoshone. Yeah, that definitely seems like a good idea. He's still nearby. Can't do a lot about him, though. Lost a trade route. This is the thing about war. It's quite nasty. Let's go ahead and give you... Let's give you rough terrain, because you're certainly standing in a lot of it. You need to back out, because if you don't, you're going to get destroyed. So you can back out and heal up. We've, we've moved you guys into the position, so you may as well go ahead and take a few shots... You guys need to um, just fortify. Now, the knight is within range. We don't really want him to get hit. I guess bringing the knight down here is not a terrible idea. We can move you back, and then all of these units are then getting healed up by the knight with medic. Providing the knight doesn't get wrecked, we should be okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get some of these um, mines for production. We'll heal some of these units up. So we've actually lost all of our trade routes at the moment, which is very unfortunate. But always tends to be the problem with war. Well, at least he's not actually going for the um, the knight, which is good. He is trying to move some more units in around the side. Now, the question is, do we continue to try and um, take Hangzhou, or do we try and get rid of that knight first? I think we at least do some damage to the knight. Try and get rid of it if we can. Last we checked, China, uh, China had the lowest production, so it's going to be quite difficult for them to actually... Um, uh, quite difficult for them to actually replenish their units, especially when they're being attacked by three people. You're just going to stay there. 
Now, the Shoshone are doing some damage up here. Um, I need to keep my eye on that and see if we get the opportunity to ninja it. Although, all I really want to do... I don't know I, I don't know if I'd want to keep that one or get rid of it. I mean, it does have gems and bananas and double fish, so it wouldn't be a terrible city. But at the same time, it wouldn't be a great city either. Units are healing up. Got to make sure that they don't try and attack me down on this side, because they may well do. You're very, very weak now, and you could end up getting killed. Luckily, these guys can't hit you because the forest's in the way. Um, here comes a trebuchet. So we can swap these two guys around. We don't need open borders. You'll manage just fine without me. At least we will be getting banking soon, so that will help with the money situation slightly while, while we are short on um, short on trade routes. Let's go ahead and swap you guys around. These are my scout, although they still can't reach, so it's just giving them an extra target, really. There's not a lot, an awful lot of point in them being there, but they can sit there and just heal up for now. You guys will need to heal up as well. You guys should continue to... We're actually going to start attacking that trebuchet because it's coming around on that side. I really hope you're doing something here, Spain. I really hope you're contributing to this war. I'm just going to sit still. Hopefully we'll get a general soon and we'll hopefully get some promotion soon. We just need to try and keep units alive. That's the important thing. Let's not do anything silly and accidentally lose units when we don't need to. See, now we're being attacked by a trebuchet and a knight and the chukanus. Yeah, we need to back up now. We might lose this unit here if the city attacks it directly. No, the knights are doing it. So unfortunately, I've actually lost a unit now, which I'm not happy about, so I'm going to back up. It was inevitable we were going to lo lose at least one unit anyway, so... Uh, adopt a policy. We can open rationalism, so we shall definitely do that. And in six turns, we'll be able to get our first policy in there. So... Even if we back up here, we're still within range of the um, city's bombardment. That catapult's still around. We could go ahead and just try and finish these guys off. I think this is probably going to be the most sensible thing to do, is just to move in there with a, a few units. Um, you can't really get close enough to do anything, because you've got, all again, all of these forests in the way, which are quite annoying. You guys were drawing some fire, but I don't think that's really going to help you now. Let's just leave you on alert. I was actually hoping the Shoshone would be a little bit more aggressive towards them. Okay, well at least if you're attacking them, you're not attacking these guys, which is fine by me. That's probably going to kill the knight. At least I would have thought it should. They do still have that trebuchet around somewhere. Although he, probably, he can't shoot over the forest anyway. So that's not too bad. He's actually retreated all the way up now. So that is a good thing. I still don't really have the ability to do any decent damage to this city though. So that's the problem. You're just pillaging all of my fishing boats, which is... Extremely annoying. Um, what tile is this? We can actually move there and shoot at you from here. These, you guys have cover. You're going to move up and you're going to also shoot at that boat. Not that there's much he can do now. He's already wrecked all of our uh, fishing boats and trade routes. Do we back these units up and just try and grab this city first? Because it looks like um, the Shoshone are actually getting somewhere with it. I think we do. I think we start to try and back up and let, let them come towards us. So let's start moving backwards with some units. Let's start making some space. And if they want to attack, let them move into us. We'll try and we'll deal with them one city at a time. Um, 
You guys are there to leave a space, that's fine. I don't think they can kill anything on this turn. Their city does have a couple of targets that they can fire at, but I don't think that um, they'll be able to kill anything. Obviously, we knew that was going to happen. You know, you might be able to kill them swordsmen. Oh, no, you can't shoot over the hill. Well, we're good. So we can back all of these guys up. I honestly thought if they shot at anybody, uh, they were going to... Um Ah, thank you very much there, um, Pocatello. Although I was kind of hoping that you'd have done damage to the city. Now, these are both Galliuses. So, they can't actually um, take the city with those. Right, you've got a unit down there, which is about to get wrecked. We will, of course, get attacked by the city. But we do manage to kill off a unit, and we should be able to survive and, and get back out of there. Um... You are within bombardment range. You need to back up. You are also within bombardment range. You're within bombardment range. Um, let's back you up over here. You can heal up. You're going to get out of the way there and you can heal up. We'll keep you there because you're, you've got medic. You're healing everybody up. Um, you might as well have one turn of firing. Just see if we can actually grab that city. We'll continue to go around and build mines where we can. Uh, I've got another unit that needs orders, which is you guys. You can heal up. Uh, you guys can actually get promoted. I suppose we should. We don't really have any income, but a pikeman is better than a spearman, so why not? And that's all we can do on this turn. So I think that is a good place to end the video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying Civilization V on Deity Difficulty. And I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye for now.